Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> wow, okay. We're doing another live stream. Hello, is anyone there? Hello, hello everyone. Moto Griso one. Hola. Hola. How's it going? How are you? Como estás? <laughs> well, um, we are going to do another um, cross crossword. And uh, and it, it's gonna be exciting because we're gonna do one about food. So food in Spanish. We're gonna see how much you know about this in Spanish. Um, and I'm I'm very excited. And um, you guys, I don't know if you've done this before with me. We, we have so far one that we did last weekend. And um, the way this works is uh, you're going to hear some description about the word that we're going to, to um, what we're going to need to put here. Uh, and you have to guess. You're going to have to guess the word. So whenever you're ready, whenever you know the word, just use the chat and let me know. And I'm just going to uh, type everything in. Uh, so it's going to be pretty, pretty fun for sure. And um, are you ready? <laughs> okay, here with me is my husband he's gonna he's gonna help us with the descriptions and uh how are you i'm good are you ready yeah <laughs> so um let's get started then uh, let's do uh, number two or number one across okay Mm -hmm. so yeah so i don't know if anybody is on that was here last time we did this so i'm just gonna describe it to you mm -hmm. in english and you gotta guess the word in spanish so it's uh i almost said it <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> don't, don't say it <laughs> so it's a vegetable okay it's green um rabbits like to eat it mm -hmm. so do it's little, round little too, budgies right? yeah you you put them on sandwiches, you know. Yeah, that's a so, very common thing to do. Yeah. And um, I like it. I like this vegetable. It's sometimes crunchy, right? Yeah. And I think it's very refreshing as well. Uh, so it has layers. So it's round, green. It has layers as well, right? Yeah. And yeah, usually burgers yeah burgers have, or sandwich, have, sandwiches uh, yeah yeah so do you know do you know what i'm talking about or we are talking about yeah this vegetable is also um it's similar to <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Anthony Grant. He has the right answer. Wow, that was fast. Oops, I'm gonna do the right answer is lechuga. Lechuga. It's not. It's not working. For some reason, one across, right? Yeah. 
Um, that is weird. Let's do another one while I find out what went wrong there. Uh, <laughs> let's do... Um, sorry about that. Let's do... Two down. Okay. Um, I'll, okay, so... I'll, it's like a <laughs> condiment, kind of. <laughs> a lot of stuff is has it in... In, like as an ingredient uh, it's very sweet candy's full of it uh-huh really bad for your teeth yeah okay <laughs> yeah. Um, Anthony Grant you got it right I just have to figure out what went wrong there but yeah the we're gonna do <laughs> number two down and again the description is um yeah so it's in a lot of candies and a lot of pretty much in everything nowadays it's really bad for you bad for your teeth causes mm -hmm. diabetes you know not yeah the, yeah okay poet france has the right answer and i hope this one works because <laughs> i don't know uh so... God. yes that one is right. So, Poe France, you got it right. <laughs> okay. Uh, that was a, a good one. So, do you wanna um, do you wanna choose the next one, or you guys can let yeah, me know which it, one you pick. would like? Do you guys would like to do yeah there's there's an issue there number one across has an issue yeah okay both friends is saying how about 13 down 13 down mm-hmm Oh man, how am I gonna? Everything I can think of to describe this one just tells me like exactly what it is. <laughs> um, it's not a. It's not something. It's, a, it's like a tangible. It's yeah. It's something. I'm okay. I'm gonna make this one easy. I is guess. It, I think it's like a flavor. Yeah, it's a flavor, uh, right? What what does salt taste like? Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's something that you can taste in a food, and usually it's because of salt. Yeah. If anybody's familiar with the meme, you know, all these flavors and you chose to be blank. Mm-hmm. You know the the answer. So, anything else you would like to say about it? Uh. <laughs> so it's you can also use it to describe certain kinds of snacks as well, because you have sweets and then the other type of snack. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mod mod agree, so it's almost right, but it, that's not the right spelling. Okay, the first letter is S, and the last letter is O. Oh, I, yeah, I remember this. Mm -hmm. 
If I remember the spelling correctly, I'll give a hint and I mean, tell me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. It's spelled exactly like something you would make with lettuce with an O at the end, isn't it? No. No? Okay, I have no, no idea what I'm talking about. Ignore me. Pope Francis almost right. Almost. Pope Francis? No, Pope. I don't know if I'm saying the name correctly. Uh, P O E. Ah, po. Yeah. Po. Yeah. Po. Po. France. Yes. Uh, you almost got it, but it's that's not the right spelling. Uh, so yes, it's sa. <laughs> I don't know if I should say more words. I mean, more letters. The middle, the, the spelling in the middle is not right, Poe, friends, but y you're almost right. Yeah. Yeah, both friends got it. Yeah, I hope this one <laughs> works fine. Uh, sa la do, salado, salado. You spell it to me. S a l a d o. So I wasn't wrong. Weren't you? You make salad with lettuce and you put an O at the end of it. Oh, there you go. I didn't understand what you meant. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, salado means salty. Salty. So the first word, azúcar, means sugar. Azúcar. The second word, salado. Salado means salty. Okay? When something is salty. Okay, so which one should we do next? Oops. Yeah, both friends got the last word right. Okay. Motogrisa one, six across. Six across. So we've said this word already a few times. Um. It's what something tastes like. Like, what would you call something's taste? Yeah, so it's another... You know. Yeah, it's another way to say this food's taste is... Okay. Yeah. Do you guys know the answer? Some food has good and some other food doesn't have good you know when you taste it but it's a, a different word usually you you use salt to give food some you know to make the food taste better yeah Anthony Anthony Grant has the answer well done. Okay, which one was it? I, I forgot. Six, six, six across. Six across. Okay. Sabor. 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 Okay. Sabor means flavor. Mmm. <laughs> okay. Well done, Anthony Grant. Okay. Now, which one? Oops. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> okay. Uh, five down. Mother Grace is suggesting. Mother Grace five, one is suggesting five down. Five down. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's a drink. Five down. Um, okay. It's a drink. Right. 
It, I love this drink. I, I don't. I, I do I, I love this like drink. I don't like it at all. A lot of people do, mm. and they like drinking it early in the morning when they wake up. Mm. You know, to get their day started. There you go. That one is easy. Yeah. Do you guys know? Okay, Anthony Grant, once again, has the answer, and the answer is café. Uh, the only thing that we need to add to this word is, um, do you know what we're missing? An accent mark, café, café. So, café in Spanish can be a drink, it's a drink, and it's also a color, brown, okay? So, café, café. Okay, Mona Griso, one is suggesting now 13 across. 13 across, uh... <laughs> you you can it's recommended when you eat sushi to dip into a little bit of this particular thing it's made out of soy it's very dark color very salty yeah but it's not that it's just but yeah the it's, last it's, word the yeah last it, word. it's just what it is it's not specifically made of soy but that's easiest or like Tabasco or, you know. Yeah, Tabasco, um, also, uh, what was it? That sauce that you, <laughs> it's something liquid. <laughs> it's liquid. It's, um, it can be a little runny or a little, yeah, I, I I gave it away. <laughs> I yeah, said, you said I it said again. I said the word. Oh yeah, my god, I... <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, so that's, thirteen that's necros. Free space. Yeah, I did. You see my face when I was like, oh my god. <laughs> yes. So, again. <laughs> again, Mario Griso one <laughs> has the answer. So salsa. Salsa, salsa, and it's also some sort of like dance as well. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Salsa. Uh, salsa means sauce, <laughs> and yeah, I said it like <laughs> while describing while describing the word. I I said I said sauce. So <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mona Grisa one. She, she's. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm moving this again. Sorry about that. Uh three down. Three down. Mm-hmm. Um Bugs Bunny eats them a lot, but they're actually well, not very good for rabbits to eat. It's so more like a really? yeah, it's apparently it's more like a candy for rabbits, essentially like a treat. Really? So you yeah. have to give that it's to not rabbits often. Like yeah, like once a treat. in a while. Yeah. Hmm. I didn't they're, know they're that. They're orange. Um, in World War II, the British said they're really good for your eyes. When in reality, oh, they're go. not. They're they're good, mm, eh. but not. Yeah, not as good as radar. Not as good as what? As radar. So, the, <laughs> the British invented radar in World War II. So they were using radar to track German planes, and oh, the boy. Germans didn't know about it. So, in order to keep it a secret, they put up this propaganda how this particular vegetable improves your eyesight and that's how they were seeing the german planes oh i see and that's where it all started there you go that's uh some a little bit of history yes motto grace one has the answer zanahoria let's see sa na o ria zanahoria zanahoria well done, Mother Grace. So when, uh, yes, 
now we are going to do another word and uh yes please let me know which one would you like zanahoria means carrot okay it's a long word zanahoria zanahoria wow okay so anthony grant is saying eight down oh man hmm. ah, this is gonna be tough to describe why because i don't know how to describe it <laughs> not in any any like easily describable way they're often you in... can you can it, this is a fruit yeah first of all it's a fruit it's um you can eat it dry or fresh yeah or you can put it in like uh like a kind of like a bar Yes, that's a common thing to do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we're doing eight down. I yeah. Have, like, so it's a, it's small. Yeah. Uh, the description looks, I can think of. It's also brown. Makes sense, but only to me, I think. Uh, if it's something crazy, not no, thank you. It's not crazy, but it's really <laughs> obscure, and I, I don't think it, no. is, it makes sense in my head. Okay, uh, if it's not too extreme, you can say it. <laughs> Come on, uh, Jesus killed a tree. Oh my god. <laughs> So if anybody knows that story, that the tree is a hint. So it's a fruit from a tree. And uh, yeah, the Bible says it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he got mad at it and he killed it. Like, okay. Um, right. And it's brown from the outside. It's brown yes. and... The inside is uh, sometimes pink, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, like reddish kind of. Reddish. It has like, like tiny, tiny uh, seeds. Yeah, there's a. Very, I love the flavor. A very common like dessert, kind of like a snack. It's okay. a blank Newton. Monogreso, one has the answer. Yeah, that's the <laughs> right answer. Did my hint help? Yes, that would be nice to know. <laughs> Eagle. Eagle means fig. Okay? Eagle. Eagle. So <laughs> that was an interesting word. <laughs> Eagle. Uh, and um, I hope the hints helped. Uh, <laughs> that was a little bit interesting. Uh, <laughs> that was an interesting description. I didn't know about that. Yeah. Okay. Just... Now, which one? 17 across. 17 across. Oh, man. So, mm -hmm. it's a type of nut. Um, they're... Oh, my God. What what are they in? I know you can put them in, like, smoothies and stuff. You shouldn't eat too many of them because they're really kind of fatty. Um... Wow, I just totally blanked. I got nothing. Okay, 17 across is a nut. It's delicious. Um, it's used, yeah, you can use that in smoothies. Moto Grisso one says, any Bible reference is easy for me. So oh, there you go. And Poe Friends <laughs> says, I was lost. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this word or this nut is brown. It looks like a water drop almost. Oh, that's a good one, yeah. Right? Yeah, it's brown. It's delicious. I love it. Uh, people use this nut in smoothies. It's kind of expensive too. I don't know why I want to say you can put it in pie, but I don't think you can. Pie? No, I don't know. I don't I think so. I just maybe one pie. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and um, also, what 
it's very expensive. Most of them come from California. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, still. yeah, and uh, yeah, Moto Cristo One. Wow, you're killing it. Yes, that's the right answer. Almendras, almendras. Now let's see if this one fits in here. Al Al men tras almendras. Oh, I love almonds. Uh, it's pretty much, I would say, my favorite nut. Do you like almonds? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not figs. I like figs. You don't like I li figs. I like figs <laughs> in like fig Newton bars and stuff like that, but not. Oh, I not see. Not on their own, not mine. Mm hmm. <laughs> Very well, Monogriso won. You guessed right. And okay. Let me know which word is next. This is fun. Do you like almonds? Guys? <laughs> Do I really love almonds for sure. Yeah. It's just they're too expensive. But anyways, um Po friends says seven down seven that one is kind of kind of easy that's pretty easy yeah, yeah seven oh down. my god you can make it out of almonds oh there wow. you go <laughs> <laughs> um now you can also get them from cows yeah that's pre but I, pretty i'd rather easy. the the one made out of almonds yeah yeah you can make this out of almonds, uh, soy, cashews, oatmeal, oatmeal, cashews, coconut. Yeah. I almost said what it is because I was like, hey, you can yeah. also make it out of, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Wow. What a great so again. What a great so when uh, um, leche. Leche. Leche means milk. Milk. So, almond milk in Spanish is leche de almendras. Leche de almendras. So, that's quite interesting for sure. Leche. Milk. Okay. Let's do the next one. Okay. Four across for across for across yes um uh, wow that's a long word for sure in Mato Grosso one yeah 10 letters yeah that's a good one for across like uh the easiest way i can explain it is it's a good it's some it's a category of a couple of different things for an example like uh, parsley sage oregano you know all these different things they fall under the category of mm -hmm. this word okay do you guys know what we're talking about Um, it's also, it's not food, isn't it? I wouldn't classify it. I mean, you can eat it, but it's not something you just put by itself on a plate. It goes on food while you're cooking it. Mm-hmm. Uh, huh. Well, that is interesting. I... It gives food flavor, that's for sure. That's for sure. And uh, what else can we say about this? What else can you say about this? Do you... Um... Oh, I 
say what went wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I say, I say what went wrong. Okay, um, sorry about that. Yes, so this word is quite long. And which one is it? Four down. And monogriso one is very close. I, I, I will say you're right. That That's exactly the word that we're looking for. Condimento. Condimento. Okay, so. Condimento. 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 That means, what does it mean? Seasoning. Seasoning. Can yeah. you repeat the Spanish word? Condimento. Condimento. Yeah. There you go. That's a an, that's an long word, but it's not that difficult to say, I would say. Yeah. Uh, okay. Which one next? We are almost, I will say, halfway done, right? I don't know. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine? Nine or ten, something like that. Okay. Anthony Grant says nine across. Nine, nine across. across. I was just looking at that one. Really? Yeah. Um, it's a vegetable. It's green. Nine across. Okay. Um, it's like an unpickled pickle, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They, they're usually big right yeah but they're like medium sizes yeah, they're, and yeah, they're pretty much just like just like water small. essentially water they're pretty much like water you know well, they don't have it's a vegetable yeah it's green yeah. it's long the shape is long <laughs> and um yeah um you can use this vegetable in salads yeah and uh it's green. Some uh, from the outside some people and green. <laughs> cut it up and put it on their itself. eyes, you know. Oh yeah, that's like yeah. a spam moment, yeah. right? You can put some slices onto your eyes. Yeah. Wow, Mono Griso. Mono Griso again. Mono Griso one. Pepino. Pepino. Four across. It was four across or nine nine across. Yeah. Pepino. P, P, oops, P, P, no, pepino, and that means um, cucumber, 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 <laughs> and yeah, I, I like cucumbers. Do you like cucumbers? I know you yeah. like pickles, but yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So, pepino, cucumber. Now. I know what happened with word number one across. Um, we had an issue with with the uh, term or the description, and the <laughs> yeah, Anthony Grant. He says, "Y ahora tengo hambre." Now I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So let's. Just go back to number one across, the one that uh, we had problems with. This, I'm going to say the description because I don't want to say the the word out loud. Uh, but this word, we're doing one across, and this word is about a dessert. Nice. It's a very, 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 very uh, popular dessert. Yeah, I know it says something else there, but it's okay. it's not. Okay, uh, so, I was confused. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to say the description. So it's a dessert. Uh, you can have different, different layers of it. Uh, it's usually spongy and it has like 
Some people decorate them really nicely and people eat them uh, during birthdays and, and parties. And yeah, Poe friends right away got the answer. Yes, that is the answer. Pastel. Pastel. There you go. <laughs> you guys know Spanish. Nice. Okay. Pastel means cake. Cake. Okay. Now let's move on. Guys, please let me know which one we need to do next. You decide. In the meantime, I'm gonna drink some water. <laughs> So, wow, so far so good. We have a bunch of words already. That's pretty cool. Okay, uh, Anthony Grant is suggesting 11 down, I assume. Yeah. 11 down. That one is a very yeah, short and word. It's, and it's very easy. Mm hmm. You, you, it holds the sandwich together. Yeah, there you, you go. Know? Like that you know, like you make sandwiches way with too it. Easy. Yeah. You guys know this one for sure. It's also the main ingredient in toast. In grilled cheese? Yeah. And Subway? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Motto Griso 1 says pan. Pan. P A N. P A N. Pan. Pan. That was pretty, pretty good. Uh, okay, now let's do 14 across. That's a long word. 14 across. <laughs> nice. Word. I like that emoji. It's just us world. <laughs> That's a nice emoji. Yeah, it's a 14 okay. across. Mm -hmm. It's one of the ingredients, the main ingredients in it is eggs. Well, nowadays you, well, can, you get can get it out of other stuff, but the yeah. most common the, generic the classic recipe. Yeah, it's with eggs. You use it on hamburgers. It's, you know, con you can it's put a it condiment, a sandwich. right? It's a condiment, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's white. Some people hate it. Some people love yeah. it. Yeah, and also sandwiches have yeah. that usually. You can spread it. I think I, I said too much already. <laughs> <laughs> we said too much already. Uh, do you guys know the word? In Spanish, please. Anthony Grant. That's the right answer. That's the right answer. Okay, mayonesa, mayonesa. There's actually a song, a very popular song in Spanish called mayonesa. <laughs> Ma, oops, mayonesa, mayonesa. That's another long word, and there isn't a, a short name for mayonesa. You say usually mayonesa. In English, you can say mayo or mayonnaise, right? But in Spanish, there isn't a short name for it. You gotta say mayonesa, mayonesa. Okay, which one is next? We have only one, two, three, four, five, six, six more. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, um, it's just us world. Would you like to pick a, a word? It can it could be sixteen across, ten ten down. We have fifteen down, eighteen down, twelve down, ten down. I think I said that one already, and nineteen across. So it's just us world says dulce. I assume that one is twelve. 12 down, 12 down, please. You want me to say it in English? Uh, or is he? What are you talking about? What? I thought <laughs> he was solving one. Someone got distracted. Yeah. Uh, 12 down, no, we haven't. Okay, 12 down. Mm -hmm. um, oh, hang on, hang on. Uh, it's just us world says 10 instead of 12. Ten, okay, ten, ten down. down. Ten down. Okay, so it's okay. a it's some common breakfast um, dish, especially in retirement homes. I hate it. I love with it with every fiber of my soul. I I yeah I disagree. And it has I a lot of it. fiber. It has a lot of fiber. It's also you can eat it cold or warm, but I think the most common way to eat this is warm, right? Yeah. And also you can put them in you can put this in smoothies for sure. Um it has a lot of fiber. Usually people who have cholesterol they need to eat a lot of this. And um it's definitely healthy. <laughs> and um it doesn't have a particular taste. Um, wet cardboard. No, it doesn't taste like that. <laughs> Don't listen to him. <laughs> um, usually they look like f was flakes. Yeah. Are they like flakes? Kinda, yeah. They're flaky, yeah. And um, it's a grain, I think, isn't it? Or a cereal. I don't know. Yeah. Sometimes you can... Some, some versions of this is sometimes... Uh, Instant, instant, yeah. Mm hmm. Anthony Grant, that's the right answer. The right answer is avena, avena, oatmeal. That's what this means. Avena, avena, la avena, oatmeal. Do you guys like oatmeal? I do like it, I don't mind it. <laughs> I think it's it's flavorless and if you add fruits and chocolate and other things like that's delicious and in when you eat it in smoothies you don't taste it at all it's delicious yeah okay Mato Griso let's do 12 down 12 down okay uh, the probably easiest hint I can give, uh, the blue guy in Sesame Street loves them. Oh. Yes, I agree, Anthony Grant. With honey or with uh, maple syrup, I usually put, well, I don't like sweet stuff, but yeah, maple syrup, sometimes I use maple syrup to eat um, I put it in the oatmeal, any you know, for breakfast. Nuts you can put almendras in the oatmeal. Um, <clears throat> mm -hmm. Wow, that that was fast. <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> it's just us. World says me encanta. So oatmeal is good for you. It's mm -hmm. it's good, delicious. I like it. <laughs> you should eat more oatmeal. I agree to disagree. Uh, 
Ok, Anthony Grant Guest The word The word is Well, Poe Friends Has the right one Because it's singular But I, we didn't mention that So, Anthony Grant and Poe Friends You both Are winners here <laughs> So, yeah Ga Yet Galleta Galleta mm -hmm. Galleta means cookie Yep Galletitas That's also another way to To call galletas Galletitas Little cookies And yeah, Monogriso one says Avena con miel o azúcar morena So it's oatmeal with honey or Brown sugar That's pretty, sounds pretty good. Yep, okay, galleta, galleta. That means cookie. Now, we have four, only four words that we need to guess. So, which one is next? Do you want to pick the next one? You can, yeah, sure. just, Let's just do pick one. 18 down. 18 down. Yeah. Okay. So it's not something that you would often eat by itself. I mean, some people do. Mm -hmm. uh, but the best hint I can give you mm -hmm. is vampires hate it. Oh, my God. That's way too easy. Oh, boy. Okay. So vampires hate this. What is it? Is it? It's a vegetable, isn't it? Yeah, I believe so. It's a vegetable uh, or s some spice. Both, I guess. Yeah. You can make some awesome bread with it. Mm -hmm. And uh, usually spaghetti. Yeah, it just Italian goes food good on anything, has a really. Lot of that. Yeah. 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 It's just us world guessed the word. <laughs> um... Yes, it's ajo, ajo, ajo. That is the word, ajo. That's a very short word in Spanish, ajo. And that means garlic, garlic, okay? So that means garlic, ajo, ajo. And yes, vampires hate it. <laughs> I love it. I love garlic. I love ajo. Um, it's just too delicious. You love garlic as oh, well, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Mara Grisa once said before 19 across. Careful with the mic. Sorry. Yeah. 19, 19 across. across. Mm -hmm. um, 19 across. Usually how you want to eat soup. You yeah, know, I, the, yeah. I'm you gonna, don't like I'm gonna that. give it. I don't. It's not. I don't like it. I just don't like it when it's <laughs> too much. But I'm gonna pretty much give it away here. It's mm. the opposite of cold. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. That's. <laughs> <laughs> um, Moro Grace one is saying ajo es condimento. Um, I think it is a, a spice. I don't know. I. If it's not, I don't think it's it's a condiment, or I mean seasoning. Let's see. So it's a, so garlic is a species in the onion genus. Oh, so it's a vegetable. <laughs> I'm confused, uh, guys. I don't, I don't know. It's a plant. It's a plant. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Um, in Spanish, ajo, we don't call it a uh, condimento. We don't say ajo is a uh, condimento or seasoning. We call it, I think we, in Spanish, I think ajo is just a vegetable. Verdura. Yeah. So, yeah, botanically it's a vegetable, but because it's mostly used as like seasoning it's considered a spice as well also it's so. spice and vegetable yeah. yeah anyway anthony grant 
once again guessed another word. Well done. Yes, caliente. Caliente. In English, it's so short that it's it's really short. The term yeah. is like just hot. Hot. But in Spanish, it's ca li Oops. Cali en te. Caliente. When something is caliente, that means that something is hot. Caliente. Fuego. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, we have two more. I'm going to choose one, guys. Okay. Let's do... Mm, let's do 16 across. 16 across. 16 across. Mm -hmm. Just make it a little bit more difficult. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> How difficult do you want it? Uh, más o menos. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a common saying, actually. It's a word that people often use to describe something that's really good, that's you know, like a positive... And it's also a flavor. Oh, okay. I got it. Yeah. Uh, yes. So it's a yeah. fla flavor. Uh, and a lot of kids like this yeah. flavor. And if you watched wrestling in like the 1990s, Hollywood Hulk Hogan was saying that NW is just too blank. I don't know. I could. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know <laughs> any of that, but yeah, it's a flavor. Kids love it. Kids love it. Yeah, yeah. it's associated. It's associated it. with candy and with sugar. Yeah, if you saw a video where I talk about what I like, I hate this flavor. I don't, I don't like it. And yeah, Anthony, there you go, Anthony. Okay, yeah, that is the right answer. Dulce. Dulce is the right answer. Dulce. It's also a name in Spanish. Yeah, um, first name. That's really weird. Yeah, so you can call some um, people, their name is like Dulce. It's a, a I don't know girl's name you know dulce <laughs> and that means sweet yeah it's also a flavor and it's also a name okay um moto griso one is asking are jalapenos a fruit contains seeds and or spice um i don't know that's a good question. I think they're vegetable because let's find, who let's, knows? Let's find out. Yeah, I, I, I always thought jalapenos are vegetable, are vegetable. It's it falls in the same category along with like tomatoes, zucchini, okra, and eggplants. So it's technically a fruit, fruit but it's used. But as it's a often vegetable. used to season, you know, mm -hmm. with vegetables. So it's considered a vegetable, but actually, like on paper, it's fruit. Yeah. I think also avocado like is a f is is a f is avocado a fruit? Let's find out. Because it also has. A seed. Yes, avocado is a fruit. Wow. So tomatoes, easy. avocados, jalapenos. Yeah. And peppers in general are considered as a, a pe like any pepper. Peppers? Yeah, because they all have the seeds oh, inside. That's a good question, yeah. Monogriso One. Thank you. Okay. And let's do the, the last word. Which is 15, 15 down. down. This is the last one, guys. The last it's one. It's a part of the title of one of the best Seinfeld episodes ever. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was it. If, if you're a Seinfeld fan. It's, it's not soda. Or soda. You, you eat it in a bowl with a spoon. There you go. 
like, help yeah them. if you love seinfeld yeah. there's an episode about this and you, it's you just know that you just sta you stand in line uh -huh. you see exactly what you need you move two <laughs> steps to the left you hand the money you take it and you leave <laughs> yes yes that was a good episode for sure um yeah so <laughs> didn't we say this one already no no no, I we I, we've said the word a few times, but we haven't done this ex this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, ba. That's the right answer. Did you guys like Seinfeld? Did you watch that episode? Because it was it was amazing. Yeah. Sopa. Sopa means soup. Sopa. <laughs> Mono Grace one says sopa na nazi. <laughs> yeah, I mean <laughs> that was a crazy so, episode. Yeah, so good. Oh my god. I just love how Elaine was like, ooh. <laughs> <"Ooh -ah." laughs> anyway, uh yes. No soup for you. Two years. <laughs> <laughs> no soup for you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay, sopa. Sopa. Yeah, that was the last word, and we did all of this right. Yeah, you guys guessed everything, and uh, that was amazing. Let's just say very quickly all the words. If you want to repeat the words with me, uh, please um, say it. I'm just going to highlight it like this, okay? So, number one, pastel. Azúcar, condimento, zanahoria, café, sabor, pepino, leche, higo, um, pan. Salsa. Uh, I think I said ego already. Ego, leche, avena, mayonesa, mayonesa, galleta, caliente, almendras, salado, dulce. Ajo. And I think I said already caliente. Ajo and caliente. Okay. We said almendras too? <laughs> almendras. <laughs> okay. Uh, that was it for today. I hope you like this game. I think it was pretty, pretty fun to do. <laughs> Sorry. Pretty fun to do. And uh, please... Uh, let me know any more questions or comments. Um, and also, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Also, visit smlessons.com for more free Spanish lessons. Also, you can download flashcard sets. Uh, you only need to click on the link down below. And there's also more helpful links if you want to know more about how to donate how to get a membership on this channel and so on um yeah well thank you so much for helping us with the descriptions anything else you would like to to say no i'm good it was <laughs> it was fun it was fun you guys enjoyed it yeah okay thank you so much for watching for being here guys i appreciate it this was very fun and um i'm gonna try to do live streams every weekend so i think usually on saturdays i'm gonna do that and uh yeah it, it will be great if you can um participate again because this is very fun thank you so much and i'll see you next time bye